Let's figure out a way forward. You know as well as I do that uh, we've been talking about, for example, the third term. And yet, you are a, lo a, lot you are a lawyer. Yes. The fact of the matter is, Nkuroziza did not change the Constitution. He may have tweaked it, but with the endorsement from the Constitutional Court. You're talking about six judges, okay? We had more or less a similar situation here in 2000. You had Florida 2000, Florida 2000, when Bush won the presidency. You remember? Yes, the Supreme I do. Court, five to four. Now, the thing is, how do we get out of here, really? Because we have to look for solutions. Okay. Uh, very quickly. Um, the Constitutional Court, when the vice president of the court fled, um, in which country will you say that that, that that ruling is actually credible? I don't know. That is uh, one, of, one, of, one out of, I mean, there were seven, correct? Absolutely. There were six. But if one of them is stating that he has been threatened in order to join the rest of the group, then what, what would you assume as, but, as, but, as, but, a, as but, a concerned citizen? Yeah, but uh, democracy. The, the thing is, uh, let's, let's talk about, it. exactly, let's talk about democracy. Mm -hmm. uh, How do we get uh, out when of we it? When we talk about democracy, we're talking about going to the polls. I, I, I heard Mr. Nyamitwe keeps talking about the polls. But in, now, in, in an environment, obviously, that... Uh, exactly. When, you, when the media has been, has been uh, the independent uh, media has been destroyed, when you have a section of your population outside of your country, when you have uh, people who are being uh, harassed, um, extrajudicial killings, torture. And, and I would like to bring in some, something that, that we've, we've talked about, but we've not really paused and think about. Um, we have nine mass graves in Burundi as we speak right now. State-inspired killings and terror has a stench. It is very distinct. This is not an environment mm. where you can really say, well, you know, uh, without obviously, uh, without forgetting that we have a high level of illiteracy, you can't really say, well, people have, have voted and, and, and here you go and this is our president. So, but let's not go back to the third term. I would, I would to the third term issue because uh, I think there are other articles within the constitution uh, which uh, uh, could be uh, even advanced. And I'm saying this as a, as a lawyer, you have the article 299, which talks about a revision or any amendment to the, to the law that would uh, uh, actually threaten um, uh, reconciliation, social cohesion, uh, should not be made. Um, we, have, we have many articles within the Constitution, 106 being one of them, uh, whereby uh, it says that the, the, the president actually has uh, the, 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 the responsibility to, um, to promote and maintain social cohesion. You remember that when the third term was, uh, was mentioned, um, in the streets of Bujumbura, it was a third term that's dividing the people. Um, so you have the legal aspect, which can be contested, but at the same time, we have the ethical and moral responsibility uh, that, that actually, uh, in our African culture, is sometimes really important to look at. Now, uh, let's, 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 let's think of solutions, as you said. The solution is very clear. Protect the civilians that are being killed, prepare an enabling environment. And by the way, the 5,000 troops uh, who seem to be uh, 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 very uncomfortable to admin from uh, <laughs> Mr. Nyamitwe, it's been done before. Remember, remember Mr. Willy, um, in 2001, uh, there was the South African uh, Special Protection yeah, Detachment the that actually the was there. So yeah. Yeah, it's, the it should, should be easier now. Yeah. It should go, be easier 15 to, years down okay, the line. Yeah, but, but, uh, let's but, go. Let's don't understand. The way forward. Thank yes, you. exactly. I think the way forward. Maprobu, uh -huh. first step. Yeah. Second step, a, let's have the peace negotiations. Let's have a date. Let's why have people. Why don't, yeah, we, go, why don't we go first to the lifeline of the show, which is the telephone callers, so that we can also hear from some individuals on the continent asking you some questions, please. Absolutely. Good evening, Samuel from Uganda. You're most welcome to Straight Talk Africa. Uh, good evening, Dugushaka. How are you? Usually terrific. How are you today? I'm very terrific and okay. I uh, will go straight to Willie mm -hmm. Yamitre. Yes, please. Is there, a, is there a chance, please, is there a chance once again of allowing in the African Union peacekeeping force? What if the audience suggests that, wait a minute, how about giving peace a chance by engaging the opposition to, to peace talks with the government delegation? Thank you very much, Shaka, and thank you, the panelists.
Thank you. How about that, uh, Wide? Yeah, thank you. The, the government of Burundi cannot close uh, the door for dialogue. And now we are engaged in a process of inter-Burundian dialogue that must be inclusive and no one has to be excluded. So uh, Burundian inside the country and mm. Burundian outside the country, the diaspora. So uh, Burundi has already started this and we have a commission of 15 members mm -hmm. uh, that has to deal with this inter-Burundian dialogue and we are also supporting the, the mediation uh, facilitation from the East African community. Uh, how, but How did you choose them? Because there are some of your critics in fact who are saying those people you are talking about are friends of your government. No, no, no. It's, it, it, it can't be. We have 15 persons, uh, and among them we have a priest, we have uh, uh, someone from uh, uh, Methodist Church, we have a Muslim, Muslim. we have uh, yeah. someone from the police, from the a, army, we have, a uh, we have a Twa, we have Hutu, Tutsi, and uh, we also have uh, people from political parties. Uh, but um, quickly, uh, for f this, this comes as a way forward. Uh, but we really need this inter burundian dialogue to be uh, inclusive. We don't want to, to discuss with um, uh, people who, 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 had, uh, who, who maybe uh, don't want Burundi to go back for, to, to, to peace. Who, people who are only destabilizing the peace in the country. Uh, and also, for these troops that we are um, claiming uh, you, are, uh, you, you want to, to, to send to Burundi, I'm telling you how to send uh, 5,000 troops in Burundi. They should be sent in Rwanda, where people are being trained, uh, refugees are being trained, refugees are being recruited and armed. Let me go to another telephone caller, please. Uh, good evening, Patrick. You're most welcome to Straight Talk Africa. Patrick from Nigeria. Good evening, Mr. Shaka. Good evening, our guest. My, good evening. My, my question to our guest, Willie. Yes. After every peace talk in Africa, both parties go haywire. Immediately, they go back in their uh, territory. Now, they end up producing child soldiers. How do we solve this issue of child soldiers? Because there are so many in all these prone areas of crisis. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless you. Th thank you. Uh, uh, we, are, we continue to ensure the international community and Burundians that Burundi would not fall into a civilian uh, war. Mm. Burundi will, in Burundi, we are going to continue to fight in order to keep, to maintain our peace and stability. The situation that prevails in South Sudan, we are not going to experience it in Burundi. And we have a request from African Union to send Burundi troops in South Sudan to go and help there and help. You so have troops in, you have troops in, we are, in we Somalia? Are, we, are, we are troops in Somalia, uh, in Central African Republic, and we also have other troops to provide in other countries that are still uh, trying to find out Let a solution to Let me ask you a regional question. Uh, to what extent would you say that uh, your regional colleagues have confidence in your ability to run your country and to be really uh, a sort of partner that they respect because it is supposed to be your turn, for example, mm -hmm. to take up the chairmanship of the East African community. It is also your turn to get one of you as becoming the Secretary General of the East African community. Mm -hmm. Are you in a position to do that? Yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, we're in a position to do that. Why not? It's, because it's, we can't even um, pr protect our own people. We, that, that, we that's have a show. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, please, yeah. Kaline. 30 seconds. Please. Okay. Uh, no, we can't, we, if we can't protect our, our, our citizens, um, how can we really deal with regional issues? Now, going back to the issue of Rwanda and uh, sending troops to Rwanda, I think that uh, it, it really speaks to uh, what I call the scapegoating mentality. Uh, our house is on fire. Let's look at what's happening and let's try to find solutions. Now, um, there is some evidence, though. There is some evidence that there is some kind of interference coming from one. There is empirical evidence, in fact, on interferences, that. Interferences, meaning they, 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 they are. They are and, recruiting and, and, people and, who have fled Burundi. Unfortunately, that, that I think there's no I think democracy let's, here. Let's I have get, to go. <laughs> unfortunately, Sorry. time is not our best ally. On that note, thanks to our distinguished guests, William Yamitwe, Senior Advisor to Burundian President Pierre Nkurunziza, and Karine Kaneza, a member of the Burundian diaspora. Thanks to our field stations, along with our viewers and listeners, we thank you for tuning in. For many of our Voice of America radio affiliates, Learning English is coming up next. 
And tomorrow morning, it's Daybreak Africa with James Bate. On behalf of the Voice of America, thanks for tuning in to Straight Talk Africa. In the meantime, get better, not bitter Burundi. And please remember to keep the African hopes alive. <laughs>